again, friends. It has been so long, hasn't it? Um, I was going to try something today from uh, making these, uh, what are these shelves from the Dollar Tree? Um, but I think they're so plain, so I'm going to see if it'll work if I use these decals also from the Dollar Tree. Um, I already went ahead and measured it, and it's these decals. Um, you can get different uh, patterns. And so what I did is I put this on the back, and then I traced it with pencil, and um, I went ahead and cut it with scissors. And it says to clean the surface, to wash the surface that you're going to stick this um, decal on. But I used rubbing alcohol just on a cotton ball to put and just wiped it down. Um, I think that might work best to remove and to make it uh, like any greasy spots that maybe when we touch it. So I'm going to go ahead and peel and stick this. I hope that um, it'll look all right. Um, I don't know which way I want the pattern to go, this way or this way. I don't think it matters really, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. So uh, let's go ahead and try and peel this off. I don't know if I can get it with my nail here, the corner. So I'm really going to try to do this right. <laughs> um, and then, I don't know, maybe I'll go back and poke the little holes with pencil or something. Let's try it this way, so I can see what I'm doing. You guys see? I hope that the lighting is okay. It's dark. It's nighttime here, so. Um, I've been gone because there's a lot of things going on in my life. Um, change is good. That's all I've got to say when things happen in your life you just gotta embrace the moment learn from it and grow from it especially growth personal growth is so important it's so important to acknowledge the things that you can change about yourself um, so here we go and I just think because this makes it more personal, I, I have all these uh, different sizes. Um, I just want to put um, my uh, school supply stuff on there, hang up scissors, um, or even any crafting of my stuff. Um, I'm, I have baggies of things that I could probably hang up. Okay, so let me find a tool where I can pierce the holes, go back and pierce the holes, um, and see how that'll work. Give me a second and I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to do this together. So I have this metal skewer um, from my kitchen. I'm just going to use it to pierce through. I'm going to lift it, and if you put it up against the light, see I have a light right here. If you put it up against the light, you can see the holes. So I'm going to go ahead and just lightly pierce each one and then I'll go over them with some round tool. This is for my sewing machine. It's just the um, the de-threader um, but it's it's got the top and I think this top part of it might be perfect for me to just whatever that sound meant. <laughs> okay so I'm going to go ahead and keep piercing these just so that I know where I'm going to make my circles. And uh, this makes it more personalized. I guess you could uh, stick a different type of uh, decal or wallpaper or whatever you want to do just to make these more fun because they're kind of plain and boring. They sell them in white and black. So I guess um, it won't matter if you're going to cover them which one you pick up. So. I just like this pattern. I just, I like the wood. Kind of looks, I don't know. I'm into that wood farmhouse kind of style. 
probably late to the game, but who cares? Um, make your style your own. So anyway, I'm going to go over these with this round end from the um, de-threader from the sewing. And let's see if it works. This way. It seems to go through right through. I guess maybe if I twist it to give it a more clean look. Well, it doesn't look too bad. Looks good. So, I was just stopping in just to say hello. I've been gone for a while. Um, it's, you know, like I said, it's been a while. It's been a long time. I don't get personal on my channel, but, you know, it's just some things happen and, and sometimes we need to take a breather, take a break, and it's okay. But I do plan on hopefully putting up more content. I have been working on making quilts, some more quilts. I've learned a lot more. I know that my terminology for the quilting world was completely off, <laughs> um, but I've learned a lot and I've made a few um, baby quilts that I will plan on selling, maybe at the farmer's local farmer's market during the uh, holiday season. And other uh, baby items, you know, like uh, maybe bibs or uh, burping cloths. Those are pretty easy to make. Um, but, well, so far, this is what it looks like, guys. So here's an idea for you to personalize these. Um, what are these called? <laughs> I don't remember what they're called. Um, from Dollar Tree ones where you hook up and then you buy these uh, to hang up your things, your items. So I think it'll look all right. Let me see if these work with, they look perfect. See? All right, guys, it was nice to catch up for a second. <laughs> Not completely revealing my entire life story, but I'm sure you all have waited for another video of mine. Um, let me just give you a quick peek at the, the quilt I'm making. I'm making this pink quilt. It's really cute. Can you see it? I don't think you can, but maybe. Um, it's for a baby girl. And uh, it took me about two weeks to make it. All because I, I do take breaks, you know. I do have a life. <laughs> and I do uh, plan on making more. And I think they're fun. That's my hobby. I love making stuff. I love, I love crafting. That's, that's always been something that I do to de-stress. And so here you go, guys. An idea for you guys to personalize your clips. And little boards. All right, until next time, I'll see you later. Have a great night or a good morning wherever you're watching from.